Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, January the 15th. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. I got a pretty interesting guy. He's he making his second appearance on Radio Friends. I think the last time was about, oh, maybe five, six, seven years ago. The time. His, his name is Joe Polacco. He's written a, another book. This one is called Giovanni. Before I introduce you to Joe, though, I want to tell you a little bit about his history, and I'm going to read uh, from the back of his book. He's a, he's a uh, native of Brooklyn, New York. He attended PS 200, PS 101, and JHS 128, which happened to be the high school of Mo, right? Junior from, high school. Junior high school of Mo from the Three Stooges. Did you know Mo? No. No. <laughs> but sometimes wait, I got to choose the... Wait, I got more here. Uh, <laughs> he earned his bachelor degree in biochemistry from Cornell University in 1966 and a doctorate in biochemistry and genetics from Duke University in 1971. He's a professor emeritus of biochemistry at the University of Missouri. And those are some pretty impressive credentials. And he's also a book author. And this is his second book called Giovanni, Street Urchins of Naples. Welcome to Radio Friends. Thank Joe. you, Paul. It's, it's good to see you again. Yeah. Now, with that, with that background of yours in biochemistry, why did you decide to write this book about your Italian heritage? That's a good question. I started so long ago, I, I have to kind of retrieve uh, my motivation. But I think part of it was... Uh, it was a great follow-up to the memoir I did um, about my mother, mm -hmm. who was Giovanni's granddaughter. And uh, we live in, uh, in times where immigration and racism and uh, those two topics and others, uh, injustice, are rife. And I realized from stories that my mother told me and from readings, especially researching the book, that these are not new themes in our history. Right. And so there, there are certain uh, facets of American history, American society, that we should not forget. Right. Now, this book is, it's, it's about your family, but it is, it's fiction tied into reality. Is that a good way to describe it? I would call it historical fiction. So the, uh, so the family story is I like to look at as a quilt, where the swatches of, of our char of characters, of, of experiences, of events, of habits, uh, are now uh, woven together in one kind of uh, hom homogeneous story. Yeah, now Giovanni is your grandfather. My great-grandfather. Your great-grandfather. And this is the story of Giovanni growing up near Maples, Naples, and immigrating to the United States. Uh, and you, you paint that picture of the trip uh, across the Mediterranean and then the Atlantic uh, into New York City. You paint it beautifully. And while I never took that voyage immigrating here, my mother and father did. And I can remember the stories that my father told about his trip to the new world. They came in steerage and they were down at the bottom of the boat crammed in with thousands of other people and he said they were so sick because the boat was rocking back and forth. They were they were like animals down there. Uh, your great grandfather came over in second class in this book. So that was a little bit better. I elevated him. I in fact I don't know. Uh, but I do know the story that he was able to make it here by befriending uh, the son of a rich man in the countryside outside of Naples. Now, is that a true? Is that true? That's true. Okay. So, that, in that fact, that's what motivated the story. The, this, this, the story would not have been written if my mother had not told me about her grandfather befriending a rich boy who sounded like he was on the autism spectrum. He befriended this, uh, befriended this rich boy, and his father was so appreciative that the boy was opening up that he led him into the villa uh, so he could attend lessons by the boys' tutors. Right. Then he came to the United States. He started a family here, lived in Brooklyn. Then what happens? Well, he, he, uh, he's still alive. Oops, uh, I guess that's a spoiler. Uh, what happens is he becomes a family patriarch. And so he has children, 
uh, that he brought over. He brought over two children. Uh, those children married, uh, one to uh, uh, an Italian person and, a, and, and another one kind of outside the faith. Right. But she was uh, a real uh, spitfire and very well accepted and very well integrated into the family and into the culture. So then he had uh, uh, seven grandchildren. And, and uh, the story could kind of get out of control if I follow each of those threads. Right. But well, it, 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 uh, it, it, it's a wonderful book. And you had a, a great review from Amazon. Tell me about that. Well, you know, uh, the reviewer hit every point that I wanted to hit. Uh, it was, uh, it, it, even though the story is unique, even though all of our Italian immigrant stories are unique, as yours is from mine, and all immigrant stories are unique, there's a commonality. And he hit those common points. He hit the points uh, about the food. Uh, each of our cultures is very proud of its food. Uh, he hit the points about uh, racism or resistance, uh, about poverty, about, and about coming up uh, in, in American society and eventually contributing to it. Yeah. So when you read the book, while it's set many years ago, there are a lot of the same traits that are happening today that need to be addressed. Um, what do you say to people who perhaps would think that some of this is overblown? Did you, did, did you yourself experience any specific problems of being Italian? Of course. Of course, we all did. But you, and you know how kids are. Yes. You know, they'll use any hook, you know, to get at you. Uh, and I've, I've heard people use uh, slurs, Italian slurs with me, forgetting that I was of Italian, uh, Italian extraction. Yeah, yeah. So it's not new. And I think what we should appreciate is that our immigration policy— from after the First World, World War till the eve of World War II was extremely racist. Yeah. It was designed to keep out Eastern Europeans, Slavs, Jews, and also Italians. Yeah. And there was no one from Asia who could get across. I tell you what, this is a, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting book. It's a good book. It's called Giovanni, Street Urchins from Naples. Where can they get it? They can get it uh, on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. They can get it in town. Yellow Dog, uh, Skylark. Uh, D, uh, D&H Drugstore on Broadway. D&H Drugstore has it also. And, okay. and also Mizzou Bookstore. Well, you've got it all over. Well, Joe, thank and, you so much you for know, coming. You know, Paisan helps to have friends. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and we're out of time. We'll say ciao. Ciao. Right? Ciao, amigo. Bye-bye. Fino alla prossima.